Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. It's been a little bit of a while since we checked out a motherboard and we are checking out a new motherboard. We're checking out the ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus, obviously from ASUS. We're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at it and just remember, ladies and gents, these motherboard videos are not reviews. So let's uh, roll that intro. As I mentioned in the intro, these motherboard videos are not reviews. They're just overviews so you can get an idea of what comes in the box of the brand new motherboard and the feature set and everything on the board itself. So without further ado, let's take a bit of a close look at this little guy over here. Let's check out the ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus. Now this is the non-Wi-Fi version of the board. So as usual, let's get the motherboard out of the way so we can take a bit of a closer look at all of the things that come in the box with this brand new motherboard. You guys have asked us to check out this board for a while. So here it is. First off, we've got a SATA or SATA cable for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's actually two in total included. There's also a bunch of mounting hardware for the M.2 slots on this board, which we're gonna take a look at in a little while there's uh, some standoffs some screws some little insulation pads and the standard stuff for mounting m.2 drives on a motherboard there's also the rear io shield because this is an entry level and less premium board the io shield is not mounted to the motherboard it's included in the box for your convenience next up we've got a motherboard layout guide this basically shows you what everything is on the board however we're going to be showing you all of this stuff in this video because that's kind of the point of this video that's just what we do around here next up is the tough certificate of reliability basically just talking about everything that's been tested on the board all of the components the vrm stuff all of the capacitors basically everything that they have pre-tested there's also a sheet full of these stickers that come with the board as well you can put these on your case uh, some of these give you extra frames per second something like 84 million extra frames per second in fortnite at 8k with no gpu installed <laughs> i'm kidding there's also this round circle plastic device that nobody knows what it is. I hear that it's really good for using it as a drink coaster on your table. I'm not sure why they have these. Uh, there's also the manual. Now the manual will basically show you what everything is, how to configure the BIOS, what everything is in the box as well. And yeah, just the gist of everything <laughs> with the board. Uh, it's hard to explain without opening it, but you guys get the idea what a user guide's for. Okay, let's uh, unsheath the motherboard and take a little bit of a closer look at the ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus, the one without the Wi-Fi. All right, let's take a look. All right, we've got the front panel audio connector. There's also a serial port header a little bit further up. There's a four pin 12 volt RGB header. And then next to that, a little bit further on, is a three pin five volt addressable RGB header. There's a few headers for resetting the BIOS and there's also a temperature sensor jumper as well. There's a PWM fan connector. There's two USB 2.0 headers for legacy things like AIO coolers and RGB controllers and all that fancy stuff. There's another PWM fan connector and the front panel connector for all your lighting and all your switches to make your PC turn on and tell you that it's on. Next up is six SATA or SATA ports for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your spinning rust drives. There's also a USB 3.0 header and right next to that mates is a 24 pin power connector for sending all of the juice to your brand new B550 plus tough gaming motherboard. And if we look at a little bit closer there's also a bunch of leds now these leds are designed to give you a readout for postcode so obviously there's no postcode led screen but this will help you diagnose any problems along the top side of the board we've got a four pin 12 volt rgb header not addressable and two more pwm fan connectors there's also an eight pin eps power connector to send all the juice to your brand new cpu there's two full size by 16 PCIe slots. The top one is by 16. The one in the middle of the board is only a by four slot and there's three by one slots as well. This board does support PCIe Gen 4, but only in the top PCIe slot. There's also the B550 chipset, which is covered by this heat sink. It's just pretty standard. It doesn't require active cooling like X570. There is a eight plus two phase digital VRM setup. And if we take a little bit of a close look, we can have a look at the cooling solution. 
It's a big passively cooled heatsink which goes a little bit over the rear I.O. There's also a standard AM4 socket which supports Ryzen 3000 CPUs and above. It does not support the 3200G or the 3400G APUs. It does support the 4000 series APUs though. And if we flip the board over you can see that there's not a lot going on back here. There's a standard back plate for all AM4 motherboards and some nice designs on the back although you'll probably never see this design at all. Uh, there's also four DDR4 RAM slots which support a total of 128 gigs of RAM with 4600 megahertz overclocked memory. There's a bunch of M.2 connectivity on this board. There's an M.2 slot at the top of the board for PCIe Gen 4 M.2 drives. And if we look a little bit further down the board, you'll notice there is a smaller and shorter NVMe slot. This is specifically designed for a Wi-Fi adapter because this motherboard does not have Wi-Fi, which only supports PCIe Gen 3 with the included heatsink. There's some USB 3.2 ports. There's a Type A port and a Type C port. There's a BIOS flashback button. There's 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and some more USB. There's a DisplayPort connector and an HDMI 2.0 connector. There's some more USB and there's 7.1 digital surround sound as well with no included IO shield. But you know what? It's time to stop talking because it's time to do our favorite thing and check out some B-roll. Let's do it. <music> Ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a look at this brand new ASUS board, the Tough Gaming B550 Plus. Now, this is the non-Wi-Fi version, so it doesn't have Wi-Fi built in. However, it as like a few of these other B550 boards you've seen, it does have provisions for Wi-Fi. So there is a dedicated Wi-Fi slot right here on the board, which I showed in the video as well. I think that's a nifty little addition. However, if I was to be buying a board that required Wi-Fi, I would probably just buy the Wi-Fi version and pay that little bit of extra just for a bit of peace of mind. But speaking about the price, if you guys wanted to grab one of these boards for yourself, they're going for around 169 US dollars or around 249 Australian dollars at the time of filming this video. And that's basically all I've got to say about this. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, as usual, this video is not sponsored by ASUS. They just sent over a board for a build project we're working on them, working with them on rather. So yeah, this whole video is like completely separate from any other things that we're doing on the channel. I just wanted to cover this board because we have had like hundreds of questions about this board because it's kind of like more of a budget focus option. I think it would be nice just to give you guys a little bit of a closer look at it. Anyways, guys, if you like the music you heard here, I make all the music. The song today, I think, is available on Spotify, so I'll put a link to that in the description right down there below, wherever that goes. And once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And there's a little bit of an Easter egg in today's video for those who are really keen eyed right behind me, right? Because it's getting to that time of the year where some new stuff is coming out. I'm tired. Thanks for watching.